Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Xu Shiyuan, and uh, my report title is Shoe Master, a benchmark for sketch to image translation of shoes. There are four parts in my report. Let me introduce the research background first. As we can see, human hand-drawn sketches are highly concise and abstract. It is widely used in the field of design. The sketch to image translation generates real natural images whose content and scale are, cons are consistent with the input sketches. This can assist designers to visualize the design products quickly and intuitively. This is a video about the sketch to image translation of shoes. It demonstrates the potential of sketch to image translation in shoes design. Several fashion datasets have been proposed to the advancement of fashion image understanding research. For example, Deep Fashion is a large-scale closed database. It contains over 800,000 diverse fashion images. Each image in this dataset is labeled with 50 categories, 1,000 descriptive attributes, bounding box, and closing landmarks but it leaks sketches and images of shoes. Deep Fashion 2 is bigger than Deep Fashion, but still have the same problems. Modernet is a large-scale street photography clothing dataset based on polygon annotations. It contains imag images of both clothes and shoes, but it also leaks sketches. Uh, Shui 2 is the only sketch to image translation dataset for fashion, which, provide, which provides uh, 2,000 real shoes images and over 6,000 6, sketches. Shui 2 covers five types of shoes, including boots, high heels, ballerinas, formal and informal shoes. However, its shoe classification hierarchy is not complete and mutual exclusion, and the data site scale is not large enough to train more sophisticated models. In shoes classification, the current e-commerce e platforms such as Farfetch, Amazon, eBay, and Taobao, they are not completed and mutually exclusive. So we proposed a shoe master. This is a, it's a category hierarchy. We build this daily shoe category. We build this daily shoe category hierarchy by referring to the e-commerce platforms and uh, China's national standard. We classify daily shoes into men's shoes and women's shoes, and uh, then classify them into six different categories according to the style. For women's shoes. There are four different types of dress shoes and sandals based on the height of the heel. Uh, this figure is an example of shoes images. Then we use the, these images to generate uh, three different styles of sketches. Depending on the level of abstraction, we selected three different styles of data sets to train a model named Tom, short for train once and uh, get multiple transfers. This is the network structure of Tom. It is a gun-based domain transfer model that uh, can generate multiple sketches for a single image. Uh, the first style is a professional fashion drawing, which has more details and uh, more lines in line with the real image. The second style is uh, the sketches drawn by amateurs which have some abstractness and some difference with the outline of the real image. The third style is fine art, which is more abstract than amateur's hand drawings. We used these images to train three different tone models and used these three different tone models to generate three different styles of sketches for each shoe image to build the shoe master dataset. Then we choose some metrics to evaluate the quality of generated images. It has uh, two parts, uh, qualitative metrics and uh, quantitative metrics. The qualitative metrics are calculated through the way of a questionnaire survey. The first uh, 
qualitative matrix is uh, loyalty. In the loyalty test, we randomly chose three similar shoe sketches and uh, the generated image by the translation model. The respondents are asked to identify which sketch is which which sketch the image is translated from. The second qualitative matrix is authenticity. Authenticity. In the authenticity test, each question is give, is given the ground truth image and uh, synthesized images generated by different uh, translation models. And uh, the respondents need to choose the generated image, which is uh, the closest to the ground truth. The third qualitative matrix is uh, naturalness. In the natural in the naturalness test, uh, during each question, we gave different images generated by different models based on the same true sketch. Uh, and the respondent are uh, asked to choose the image which is the most natural and uh, on the best visual effect. In terms of uh, quantitative metrics, the first is uh, FID. The FID score is used to measure the distance between the real image distribution and uh, the generated image distribution based on the features extracted by the pre-trained network. The smaller the distance, the closer the generated distribution is, is to the real distribution. So the smaller the FID, the better. The second is LPIPS. LPIPS essentially computes the similarity between the activations of two imaging patches for some predefined network. Lower values of LPIPS indicate that the two images are, are more similar. Uh, the third is MS, SSM. Uh, this is a uh, SSIM index based on multi-scale. This method is uh, more flexible than previous single-scale method in considering, in considering changes in building conditions. Uh, in experiments, we chose three models. The first is a pix to pix This is a conditional generative adversarial network based model. The discriminator D learned to classify between fake and uh, real tuples. The generator G learns to fold the discriminator, unlike uh, unconditional GAN. Both the generator and the discriminator ob observe the input edge map. Pix to pix is the only one that requires the image sketch paired data during our experiment. The second is the cycle GAN. This model contains two mapping functions, G and F, and associated adversarial discriminators, dy and dx. dy encourages G to translate, to translate X into outputs indistinguishable from domain Y, and vice versa for dx, F, and X. To further regularize the mappings, uh, they introduce two cycle consistency losses. These two losses capture the intuition that if we translated from one domain to the other and bank again, we should arrive where we started. Just as this figure show, the first is the forward cycle consi consistency loss, and the second is the backward cycle consistency loss. The third is a self-supervised sketch to image synthesis. This model implements the sketch to image translation in a self-supervised learning manner, which also eliminates the requirements for prior data. This model consists, consists of uh, these two parts. The first part is an autoencoder, which decouples the content and the uh, still from sketch and uh, RGB image to synthesize an image with the sketch with the sketch content and the uh, RGB image still. The second part is a GAN network, which is used to refine the details of the synthesized image. And the TOM model we used is also proposed in this paper. Uh, the results of the experiment uh, are shown in this figure. It can be seen that uh, the image synthesized by CycleGAN and the self-supervised method are more closer to the real image in texture, but uh, the color is relatively single. The image synthesized by pix to pix are more, di are more diverse in color, but uh, less realistic in texture. 
the figure, this figure shows the images generated by the three models based on the amateur hand drawn sketches, which are also more abstract than the sketches from the test set of Shoemaster. The images generated by Pistopix is not faithful to the sketches in terms of both color range and the texture. Cyclecon and the self-supervised method performs better, uh, reflecting the stronger generalization abilities. Then we distributed the questionnaires through a website named Questionnaire Stars. The qualitative and the quantitative evaluation results are shown in slide. From quantitative evaluation, we can see that uh, the self-supervised method had the best performance. The performance of Cyclecon and pix 2 pix are close. However, in terms of uh, MSSM, pix 2 pix performs better than Cyclecon, which may be because the image generated by pix 2 pix has a higher similarity with the ground truth in structure. The final part is conclusion and the prospects. We contribute to Shoemaster benchmark. It consists of three parts, a complete and multi-way exclusive shoes category, a large scale daily shoes data set and the metrics. In the future, we hope to continue to expand this data set. Thank you for listening.